All right, we're back. We're here outside of Vault City, and you may notice that Lily now has this Chrysalis Motors Highwayman, pretty much in tip-top condition, even with the original tires and everything. Only 84% power. I think that was just for the trip from the den to here. But uh, we're finally ready to speak with First Citizen Lynette. Lily's gonna propose a Vault City Gecko Alliance. I think uh, Gecko simply needs a part that Vault City might have. I think Gecko wants medical technology, but I think we'll rather propose that in exchange for the part, they simply get excess power from a fully operational plant. Plus, I think she has a hollow disk from Gordon. Yeah, highlighting the advantages of the Alliance. She'll just lie and say that <laughs> it's her research. I think uh, Gordon said she was to be discreet with it. Because uh, obviously a lot of people don't necessarily like ghouls. Where on earth is a council house? Here it is. But it's more important to her with the... Uh, this is all about citizenship. If Lynette doesn't like the idea, then <laughs> she's not going to push it. Yes. What is it? Yeah, bring up the, uh, <laughs> the power plant. Have you resolved the situation? Yeah, that's what it's called. The hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator. So you haven't taken care of the problem? I just, <laughs> it doesn't sound very happy. I remember who told her that Old City would even have the part. What if we do? That is only a temporary solution. Please fix the problem, not their power plant. Am I making myself clear? Wow. All right. Would be surprised if uh, First Citizen Lynette some personal interest just to see Gecko destroyed. Alright. Yeah, Lily's not going to push it. That's all she wants, the citizenship. Alright. Going to have to uh, do it, I guess, the harder way and just sabotage the reactor. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, she wasn't going to push it there because uh, an alliance is not going to help Lily. <laughs> Citizenship is, and the only one who can do that is uh, Lynette. Man. Where's the exit? Alright, but that's problematic because we didn't find out anything about the codes. We have all the... Security keys, or pass keys, but uh, <laughs> might, this might take a lot of luck, and it's probably going to be a difficult time just to get out of there once we do sabotage it. What's he got? Should have a 10 miller. He's got ammo. Not using it, okay. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna take the car. We're gonna conserve fuel. That's it was really for the uh Nice to see you, citizen. <laughs> for the big circle. I think we'll uh huff it by foot. Well, actually we got a few things in Gecko we need to do. She needs to pick up the meds from Percy. Found uh, his friend Woody. Plus, Harold might be able to give her, uh, it's kind of paperwork, I think, to pick up supplies. Let's see what he's got to say. 
What you need, youngster? Because maybe it, whatever she can check out from supplies inside Reactor 5 might give her a clue about what codes. Otherwise, it just might be free stuff. Don't see how she can bring it up, though. Well, you might try talking a woos over in the harp. You can't miss it. It's just across the way. <coughs> what you need, youngster? No. I think the other conversation we've already had. All right. All right. I think the other one who's able to give out that paperwork, an authorization form, I think was uh, Festus. All right, here's Percy. Better deliver on uh, his meds. By gosh and by golly. I just sure can't thank you enough for getting my friend back. Gee willikers. I've got to give you something for your troubles. That was the deal. Yeah, she's gonna complain. Saying how hard it was. This big old chest of anti-radiation medicine sure ain't doing me no good. Just about a hundred something years too. Late for me to use it. Here you go. I'm finding that friend is worth more than every year. Yeah, it really was about the... <laughs> just about the medication. What's he got? 14 AP. FNFAL. What is that? Alright. Boy, he's got stim packs too, though. 917. Oh, look at this. That's pretty good. Four Rataways and three Rat X. That was certainly worth it. Fortunately, we got <laughs> the little caps to buy into this stuff. Because if we sabotage the, uh, and all right, we're gonna sabotage the reactor. We're probably gonna need maybe ammo. Thirty-four. Let's see what's got in here. No. Yeah, her ammo is constantly being lost. All right. Yeah, so I guess we'll uh, start looking at this reactor. I think this is going to be trial and error. Whoops. <laughs> I think she'll talk to Festus again. In case, uh, it's one to give up some kind of... Acquisition form. I've got so much to do here, I could really use a break. But, you know, nobody else can run the atomic power plant. I'm harnessing the power of the atom, you know. It really tires a fellow out. Yeah, asking how the reactor's doing. Well... It sure uses a lot of uranium, and it leaks some. You know, I've asked somebody to fix it, but no one listens to me. Right, maybe this is a way in. It'll give us a code or something to get the robot running. Yeah, same what we heard, I think, from uh, Harold. It's leaking radiation into the groundwater. Well, that's possible, but I don't think it would do any harm to anything. It's underground, after all. 
Art bring up about Volt City's contamination. Not possible. No one would know more about it than me. They're just looking for someone to blame for their problem. We even draw from some aquifer. Oh, from the same aquifer. They're just a bunch of amateurs when it comes to atomic power. I'm the real expert here. <laughs> you could take what I say to the bank. If there are any banks left, that is. Yeah. I don't think Lily has much faith in the fastest, but no papers. Alright. What's his name? Hank. Hello, nice of you to visit me again. It feels nice and toasty this close to the core. Both smoothies don't care for that. Yeah. Haven't found anything out about codes. <laughs> I think she's just going to poke around on the computer then. Yeah, we talked about getting into the core before. Yeah, figure out the control codes, but don't run it for too long. As it'll overheat. Alright. Alright, so welcome to... I think this was Robot... <laughs> I can't remember what it is. Reactor Maintenance and Repair Robot Control Terminal. Station 3. Coordinate and command the robot itself. Oh, there was also uh, something about... What was that? Yeah, Poseidon net. Let's try to do that first. Maybe we can get information off the network. And I think last time she put in this code 7. It was the wrong code. I don't know if we do these in a certain order. Try 0. Incorrect. Access denied. Two more attempts permitted. Well, there's only two more options left. Nine. Oh boy. Enter secondary security access code. <laughs> we have to enter four of these. So it's a nine. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to this. Well, we'll just go with A. Incorrect. One more attempt permitted. Well, it's a 50-50 shot. I guess we'll just start over with seven. Oh boy, now we're going to do the third one? Are you kidding me? So it's either zero or A. So it was nine, seven... A and zero would be too much of a pattern. It would be more random to be nine seven zero A, right? So go with zero third. Tertiary. Accepted. Welcome to Poseidon Net. Here we go. Download the uh, routines. Not sure if we're gonna get kicked off. Searching. Not found. <laughs> 